Some of the best spellers in our area put their skills to great use. KCTV 5's Joe Chiodo shows us how these smart kids are getting one-of-a-kind mentoring from one of the most accomplished spellers in the country. Well, there's some tough competition here at Frontier Middle School today. This right here is the list of 45 students who competed in the spelling bee. But in the crowd was an Olathe native who actually won it two years ago. She went onto the national stage and took the title there as well. well she's back and offering her wisdom to the next generation. Chipotle, C-H-I-P-O-T-L-E, Chipotle. The trophy these middle schoolers are after has them excited as they compete. Schnauzer, S-C-H-N-A-U-Z-E-R. Some successfully spelling words that even I wouldn't want to try. Felcher, F E. L-D-S-H-E-R, Felcher. And with today's audience, there's an added pressure, a spelling bee pro in the crowd. Vanya Shivashankar is at National Champ. I'm just here to give them some encouragement because I've gone through this B for six years and gone to nationals for five. Here's a video of her winning it all back in 2015 and her sister won in 2009. The two of them now volunteer with a nonprofit. It's called North South Foundation. They coach spelling bees and other national contests and raise money for educating kids in India. Today she's mentoring these young spellers, offering them advice before the competition starts. Her best tip to make it to the national stage is spelling is more than a memory game. There's almost a half million words in the dictionary, so it's impossible to do that. Really, it's by um, learning the languages and how the words are put together through the languages and the root words. Um, that's how I did it. I think that's how they're doing it, and they're doing a heck of a job. And she's right. Uh, what's the language of origin? It's an eponym from Norwegian. Students we saw always asked for origin and definition before giving it their best shot. But no matter win or lose, she says there's one piece of advice each contestant should take. They've made it this far and they should all be very proud of themselves. The national competition is set to take place over Memorial Day weekend in Washington, D.C. The winner from here is going to take on 280 other kids, not just from the United States, but around the world. In Olathe, I'm Joe Chiodo, KCTV 5 News.